I would like to read um, a letter. I would like to state, first of all, that this first assembly of the United Nations marks the second attempt of the peoples of the world to live peaceably in a democratic world community. This new chance for peace was won through the joint efforts of men and women working for common ideals of human freedom at a time when need for united effort broke down barriers of race, creed, and sex. In view of the variety of tasks which women performed so notably and valiantly during the war, we are gratified that 17 women delegates and advisors, representatives of 11 member states, are taking part at the beginning of this new phase of international effort. We hope their participation in the work of the United Nations organization may grow and may increase in insight and skill. To this end, we call on the governments of the world to encourage women everywhere to take a more active part in national and international affairs and on women who are conscious of their opportunities to come forward and share in the work of peace and reconstruction as they did in war and resistance. We recognize that women in various parts of the world are at different stages of participation in the life of their communities, that some of them are prevented by law from assuming full rights of citizenship, and that they therefore may see their immediate problems somewhat differently. Finding ourselves in agreement on these points, we wish as a group to advise the women of all our countries of our strong belief that an important opportunity and responsibility confronts the women of the United Nations. One, to recognize the progress women have made during the war and participate actively in the effort to improve the standard of life in their own countries and in the pressing work of reconstruction so that there will be qualified women ready to accept responsibility when new opportunities arise, to train their children, boys and girls alike, to understand world problems and the need for international cooperation as well as the problems of their own countries. Three, not to permit themselves to be misled by anti-democratic movements now or in the future. Four, to recognize that the goal of full participation in the life and responsibilities of their countries and of the world community is a common objective toward which the women of the world should assist one another. Following is the list of women delegates and advisors signing the open letter. Mrs. Bodil Begtrup, Denmark. Can you come and sign? Can you give your pen? Thank you. Miss Minerva Bernardino, Dominican Republic. Mrs. Frida Dallen, Norway. <coughs> Miss L. McPhee, New Zealand. Miss K. M. Midway, C. I. Ralph, United Kingdom. Mrs. Eleanor Roosevelt, United States of America. <laughs> Mrs. 
This is Evdokia Uralova, Bielorussian Soviet Socialist Republic. United Kingdom. Would you like me to hand this to you? I think it would be easier. Ask some of the other people. I have some plans, but I'd like to ask some of the others. How in France, where is our French delegate? Um, how, how do you... Well, I think that in England the women's movement is so very well organized that I can very well rely on the large number of women's societies who are extremely interested in the United Nations and in, the, and in its work to make uh, the very fullest use on the platform of this letter, and of course the British press will give it the necessary publicity. I can't answer for San Francisco because I wasn't in San Francisco, but I think that probably um, the real answer is the same as it frequently is, that unless women ask for things, the men forget, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, that yeah. in many countries there are probably the same kind <coughs> of gentlemen because the gentlemen <coughs> occupy the high positions in government, <laughs> and the natural thing is to send to an organization of this kind people who are already carrying responsible work and holding important positions. Mm -hmm. And women, then I think ladies and gentlemen will thank you. Yes? Ma'am, we would like to talk of you signing your name. We didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does not mean that the press has to stay. We will say to everybody that those who wish to go may go and thank you very much for coming. Now, will you go right ahead? And do you want all of them signing? Do you want everybody to pass by again? No, no, no.